Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Now some of you had asked me for the details of the bone set that I use. When I was in first year, I had bought a bone set from my senior that was around 8000 rupees. And later on, I realized that it had the bones of only one side of the body and some of it were broken and some were missing. At that point of time, since I was a fresher, I did not know much about the specific details of the bone set. But later on, I bought a new bone set which I'll be showing you in this video. Now instead of focusing on the price range, I decided to go through the reviews of the bone set and I came across this bone set that had a very good review and was reasonably priced. So now let's look at the contents. Now this is a bilateral disarticulated skeleton with a life size of 5 feet. Now let's open and see. It has two boxes, one is for the skull. So I'll open this first and show you. So here is the skull. Now as you can see in this skull, the mandible is attached with the help of springs. And there is a socket right here that can be removed on both sides so that we can study the interior of the skull as well. Now we're going to open it from both sides. Yeah. So here it is. So here is the interior of the skull with the foramen magnum with other foramens and structures that you can see clearly right here. So let's look at the remaining parts. Um. We have the remaining parts. Here is the sternum and the coastal cartilages. Here in this cover we have the ribs, the scapulae, the ribs and the scapulae. I will be showing you each one of it in detail. Here we have, here we have the vertebrae. All the vertebrae are there along with the two hip bones of each side. Here is a foot complex. One is disarticulated and one is fixed. So you can see, learn it in both ways. This is one is of the right side and one is of the left side. Here is the hand complex. So in one uh, it is disarticulated and the other one it has the entire as a join for us to learn. Here you can see, yeah, you can see two covers. So one is of the right side of the body and one is of the left side of the body. So it includes the bones of the upper limb that is the humerus, the radius and ulna and for the lower limb we have the femur, the tibia and the fibula. Similarly in this of both the sides. So these are the bones. This is of the right side and this is of the left side. So I'll show you some of the bones. Here we have the humerus. So you can see the features right here. This is the greater trochanter, the lesser trochanter and the borders are clearly visible. The anterior, the other border, the other two borders. You can see the olecranon fossa right here. So this is all about the humerus. Here we have the radius. You can see the borders here, the styloid process. You can see all the features are clearly visible. Moving on to the ulna, the ulna tuberosity. Again, the borders are visible here, even the lower part. Moving on to the bones of the lower limb, here is a femur. You can see it's quite heavy and here you can see the features again uh, focusing. Here you can see the upper part of the femur. Over here you can see the intertrochanteric line, the posterior part, intertrochanteric line, the intertrochanteric crest. You can see the greater trochanter right here, the lesser trochanter. All the features are visible. This is the head of the femur. Here you can see the borders. And here is the lower part with the two condyles. 
So we can see the tibia here. Here we can see the tibial tuberosity, the two condyles. You can see the crest. These are the uh, features that are clearly visible. You can see the borders. Borders are also clearly visible. Here the medial and lateral malleolus. Right here. Medial and lateral malleolus in the features. And finally, here we have the petal. So in this cover, we look at the hip bone and the vertebrae. So first we look at the hip bone. So this is the left hip bone. And you can see the ilium, the ischium and the pubis, the acetabulum. Here you can see the iliac crest, the posterior, the ventral, uh, the ventral part of the iliac crest and the dorsal part. Here you can see the slopes and the tuberosity. So this is all about the hip bone. Now we look at the vertebrae. The vertebrae that I have used in those videos are ones from these. So you can check them out in those videos itself. I have used these vertebrae right there in those videos. Now let's look at the foot complex. We have the articulated one, the non-articulated one. We have the talus, calcaneus bone, navicular, cuneiform bones, cuboid bone. So these are the tarsals, the metatarsals and the phalanges. So you can learn them clearly. They have all the features, all the ridges. So you can learn them. And these are the disarticulated ones, the bones, so you can learn them as well. Next you can see the sternum and the coastal cartilages. In the final cover, we have the scapula bone which, which, which has the spinous process, the acromion process and the coracoid process, the acromion process, coracoid process, the spinous process and all the features are visible even the ridges. The sacrum bone is here, uh, you can also check this one, I have made the video on sacrum using this bone so you can check it out. This is the other scapula bone. These are the ribs. So I have actually, according to the numbers, I have paired them up and tied them with a rubber band so that it becomes easy to differentiate. They also have the numbers in the end so that you don't get confused how to differentiate them. The numbers are given, that is the first, second, third, which one is it? The number has been given at the end of those ribs. So these are the ribs not showing all of them and here is a first strip the smallest one right here so this is all about the bone set if you want details of a similar bone set you can message me on my instagram page angelina isaac lectures or email me at angelovita1999 at gmail.com the link is given in the description below as well as the email id thank you so much for watching